So welcome back to our review of the Stream Elements Sponsorship Program. We've got a couple of the sponsorships that we've completed to take a look at. The first one being Marvel Strike Force. Overall, this one was quite successful uh, with roughly the same number of players as we normally get. Uh, we reached $754.99, uh, including the reimbursement that I got for using my budget. Uh, on top of that, we also got 10 gift subs to, to dole out, which we'll do here in just a moment. Uh, overall, for this one, I thought the goals were very obtainable. Um, it wasn't dependent on purchases, although there was one. And pretty much all the, goal, the, the first three goals were very achievable. Level 50 was difficult, but it was not impossible without money, but you did have to play every day for login bonus and probably a couple of times a day to maximize the amount that you could get game wise it wasn't the, it's not the type of game that our community tends to like as much but it was pretty solid for what it was my biggest complaint is that since it has been ongoing for a while the menu itself can be very daunting for new players i feel like it should be downsized and then you shouldn't have access to the stuff to distract you until you reach a level. But that's just a side effect of playing an older game that has had update after update after update. Other than that, I thought it was pretty accessible. It did a decent job of explaining how to do stuff. It just does get a little bit complicated and once you get towards the end of that campaign. I think overall we had a decent experience with it. Decent game good payout. You know, it was as expected. On the other end of that, we also played Tiki Solitaire, which we just completed. Similar number of players, about half the payout. Quite frankly, these levels were incredibly difficult to reach. Only three of us were able to complete the full campaign. There's an addictive nature to the game. One out of eight of us had, was really into the game and wanting to continue playing. However, it is very luck based. So like the whole campaign kind of feels like a dice roll because at any point you can get up to a point where you need one card and there's no rhyme or reason as to whether or not you can get the card. You might pay 3,000 coins and get it. Or you could pay 60,000 coins and not get it. It's kind of infuriate, infuriating, quite honestly. Because it kind of takes any like skill progression out. You can make every single correct move on a map and fail the level. Because it just decided not to give you the card. Card counting doesn't help at all. There can be 6, 8 nine aces in a deck could be two twos and there's just no rhyme or reason behind it like the payout still 450 is not bad but for a two-week campaign versus a one-week campaign this is a quarter of a payout time wise and the setbacks of having that type of gameplay were very disheartening i had a couple of other things to address we did have this comment on the previous video um when doing the sponsorship their uh, accounts and levels weren't registering. I've had very similar problems to that. Stream Elements is fairly helpful. I've had good experiences with their support. This is their advice for handling untracked accounts. It's got to be a brand new account and also never been installed on the device that's being played on before. No altering of the file name and ad blockers should be turned off. I've had trouble with some of the campaigns with iPhones tracking. I don't know if there's a correlation there or coincidence. Also, when I stream using the emulator, lower quality games track me on the emulator, the higher quality games do not. Sometimes I can see the accounts catch up like a couple of days after the stream, but when I have stuff not tracked, I contact Stream Elements and they've been pretty good about getting me uh, credit for at least part of what I I, I claim to them. They've been very helpful overall. Their support team is pretty good. So if you have any problems with tracking or whatnot, they won't. They can't help you until the campaign's over. But they make just need help. Talk to us. You get like a little AI bot to begin with, then a live person, and, and it usually switches over to email, and they finalize helping you what they can do. 
I think overall this one tracked okay for us. I didn't notice any anybody's levels missing. Like I know who the, all four of the people who hit these points were. But yeah, that'll do it. We will be doing another one in about a week. I'm going to take a little bit of time. We've got a couple of new offers mixed in. I'm going to look into them more. I'm not sure if I want to do another mobile game or if we want to try one of the new PC games that have been offered. The Game of Thrones Winter is Coming is interesting because there's no download required. It just requires PC on a web browser. Uh, but it is like a RTS type game similar to Call of Dragons and other stuff that we've done like that. But it would be interesting. Different take. But uh, see how this sub fairy is taking longer to arrive than it did last time. Well, I guess we'll start playing Fortnite. And I'll copy the fairy over to that scene so when it shows up, it shows up. There we go. I can't read. Congratulations, it's me, Natalie, Fire K Bay, Mad Wolf, John.